What is this steel tool with faded red paint found at an electrical parts repair shop? A well-worn pistol type grip with a screw to apparently change the blade parts. Around four and a half inches long with a hook on one end and long thin flat grippers on the other. The handle is stamped Ideal Sycamore, Illinois, USA. Any ideas? It is a wire stripper made by the Ideal Commutator Dresser Company of Sycamore, Illinois from circa 1944. It's a handy tool designed to cut and strip the insulation, scrape the wire, and straighten kinks and sharp bends. The blades have the cutting edges hollowed in the center to prevent the wire from slipping out of the tool, and they are removable for sharpening. The handle hooks around the fingers to give a good pulling grip. What is this thing encased in a hard plastic type substance a little larger than McDonald's sauce? It has a slight yellow hue to it, and the edges are sharp. I found it in a box of items bought at an auction. It was in the pocket of a jacket. I did an image search and a Google search and couldn't find anything. Any information about it would be much appreciated. It's a heat shield segment flown during the Apollo 8 mission in December 1968. The first mission to take humans to the moon and back. This segment was part of the entire protective outer layer heat shield at the large blunt end of the command module, and as such was the first material to protect the crew from temperatures of 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit as they re-entered Earth's atmosphere. The darkened portion is the end that was exposed directly to the friction of the Earth's atmosphere as they re-entered it. During re-entry, the resin would become heated, transforming it to a gaseous state which carried the heat away safely via convection. You have a piece of history in your hands. That thing has flown around the moon. I've seen similar samples have been sold for $8,000. What's this outlet in our living room? The apartment was built in the 1930s in the US. I asked a retired electrician friend. He said he'd never seen this in his 40 year career and no amount of Googling has turned up a single lead. Have any of you seen this before? It's a radio outlet made by Hart and Hegemon in Hartford, Connecticut. In many homes built in the 1920s to 40s, radio antenna coils were installed in the attic. A wire connected the antenna to grounded radio outlets in rooms downstairs. When home antenna coils fell into disuse, radio outlets were often put out of sight by wallpaper or layers of paint. Although radio plugs had a pin configuration that never has been used for 120 or 240 volt power connections, it is confusing that often radio outlets were part of a dual socket. What is this yellow railbound machine spotted in central Virginia, USA? I spotted this from a rooftop near the CSX line, passing through Charlottesville, Virginia. It appears to have a number of sensors on it. I have noticed that trains wobble a bit on this portion of the track, so question whether this has anything to do with leveling or diagnosing the grade of the track. The device moved into my frame near the bridge toward me, and then backed away. Thanks in advance. It's a tamping machine or ballast tamper, informally simply a tamper, a self-propelled rail-mounted machine used to pack or tamp the track ballast under railway tracks to make the tracks and roadbed more durable and level. Prior to the introduction of mechanical tampers, this task was done by manual labor with the help of beaters, as well as being faster, more accurate, more efficient, and less labor intensive, Tamping machines are essential for the use of concrete sleepers, since they are too heavy to be lifted by hand, usually over 250 kilograms or 550 pounds. What is this black cast metal tool, roughly the size of a softball with a handle, a lever, and a shaft that has a flat tip screwdriver at the end of it? The lever will move roughly half an inch side to side, but does not appear to drive the shaft in any way. The text on the piece reads, The Brown Company Syracuse, New York, USA. The antique tool dealer who had it didn't have a clue what it was. My best Googling returned nothing aside from some information regarding the Brown Company itself. What is this thing? It's a valve grinder made by the Brown Company of Syracuse, New York, circa 1910. It was operated by a horizontal lever, which allows easy manipulation without interference with adjacent parts. 
The screwdriver blade is given a semi-rotary motion through the medium of a pinion and rack. The lever is operated with the right hand, while the valve is held to its seat with the left. The lever is removable so that the device can be packed in a small space. I found this old cast iron wheel on a disused World War II bomber airfield in the UK as a kid and carried it home. I'm fairly sure it was in Turweston Airfield in Buckinghamshire. The markings on the rubber state, military, June 44, Firestone, and made in USA. I didn't take any photos of the tire tread, but it's worn, indicating contact with a road or concrete type surface. Does anyone know what it's from? It's a front wheel of the Universal Carrier, also known as the Bren Gun Carrier, and sometimes simply the Bren Carrier. Production of carriers began in 1934 and ended in 1960. The vehicle was used widely by British Commonwealth forces during the Second World War. Universal carriers were usually used for transporting personnel and equipment, mostly support weapons, or as machine gun platforms. What is this thing I found in the thrift shop? Approximately three and a half inches long, one and three fourth inches wide, the front and top can be opened, and the bottom is stamped USA MD Pioneer, New York, New York. It has a canister with a chain to keep the screw top in place. Any ideas? It's a World War One era US Army needle sterilizer. It's a portable needle sterilizer for the military medic, used for sterilizing surgical needles in the field. The bottle sits under the sterilizing tub, and the cylinder-shaped compartment holds water and the needles. My dad found this old tool, but he doesn't know where or when he got it, and he would like to know what it is. The pinchy end is on a retractable neck. The front says the crown, and the back is harder to make out, but it looks like MFC by LT Snow, New Haven, Connecticut, USA. So obviously manufactured in New Haven. I did some searches for the text, mostly resulting in links for snow tires. What is it for? It's a nail puller manufactured by Levi Tracy Snow Company in New Haven, Connecticut, circa 1906. It was used to remove nails that are sunk below the wood surface. The company was known for yacht cannons, nail pullers, and the universal food grinder. A friend of mine gave me this key 10 years ago because I collect keys. She said she found it in her dad's drawer. I've been collecting keys my whole life and never saw one like this. It's a blank key with a pivot and spring, labeled Yale and Town Manufacturing Company and made in USA stamped on it. I can't figure out what the use is for the pivot and spring. Some sort of specialty lock maybe. If anyone has info on these types of keys, please share in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.